Hello, hello, my beautiful people. I am back. I got my cross socks on. I didn't do my hair. I just did a very simple old school kind of makeup. I just got out of the shower. Sometimes when I use the got to be right here, this, the classic, sometimes it makes my hair greasy. And sometimes when I just got out of the shower, I don't feel like dealing with that. So today we are working with the basic. I wanted to talk about a few things with you guys. First and foremost, we got our first fan art and I am so honored to the person who created it. I do not have your name. I will find it after I edit this video and put it up here and put your picture up here. I did get permission from them. Please, please, please never think I'm playing the entitled YouTuber and not remembering your name. I am just so bad with names and birthdays. Like, honestly, I just, I'm so bad with them. But we got our first fan art and they did an amazing job. It was so beyond honored that you made that fan art of me and it's adorable. I want you to keep up with your art. I think it is a very cute and unique style. I'm honored. And you guys know I haven't had a car, so when I I finally got my car back and I'll talk about that in a minute. But I would love to go print it out and hang it up on my wall, probably somewhere like right over there next to my bed, because genuinely one of the only things I've ever wanted is fan art, and it's not a selfish, like, narcissistic thing. It's just, I grew up with OG YouTubers, and fan art was always one of my favorite things. I love seeing people's art. If you ever, 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 ever want to make fan art, please do not hesitate to let me know. I take no offense to it. I think it is so flattering and adorable, and I am just eternally grateful that someone made art of me. Regardless of your skill set, art is made to be fun and subjective, and I absolutely love it. Here it is again. Genuinely, eternally grateful that someone would ever do such a kind thing for me. I don't want to get emotional in this video, but I'm going to talk about some emotional stuff, so I'm going to try not to do that thing where YouTube, like YouTubers where they cry. Also, major shout out to our first hater because I got a comment a couple days ago or something from somebody. I'm not going to shout their name out because it's not worth it, but they did not like my hair tutorial video, so they sent me several puke emojis and I felt so honored. Genuinely, everyone has been so nice to me on this channel. I have never gotten a lot of hate. Hopefully that won't change because I'm sensitive, but um you know, I thought it was funny. I was like, mm, no harm done. It doesn't make me feel bad. I was like, thank you so much. Because it shows me that my stuff's getting out there. And I have hated on myself way more than you could ever hate on me, sweetheart. So thank you for the engagement. We really appreciate it. And we're glad you're here. Again, I'm not going to say who it was, but it was definitely a man. Definitely a man whose type of woman or person is not alternative. So it was interesting that he was here on this channel. Either way, I love you, I appreciate you, and I hope that GTA goes really well. Um, the main thing I wanted to get into today is just kind of update you guys and tell you what's been going on with me and how things have been going since the whole car situation. Car broke, car unusable, fixed, tried to fix, spent a lot of money, a lot of Christmas money, and didn't fix it, got a new car, had to spend a lot more money to register it, and we're back on the road, but we're not out of the woods yet because basically there are some issues with the car we bought now. We knew them when we bought it. We have to replace some spark plugs. There's a little bit of issues, but we're on the road again, and that's super important. The really unfortunate thing is that it is around Christmas, and I'm sure, or whatever holiday you celebrate, I'm sure it's hard for everybody, but that took like, <laughs> we had savings for this very occasion that we've been holding on to for literally years. And we finally had to delve into that. We were literally going to use that to make Christmas bigger, big Christmas for everybody in the family. Everybody gets a really nice gift. And then reality happened. So we had to spend it on a car. A lot of people are really supportive and understanding. I actually had a ton of friends offer to send me plushies and gifts 
for my stepson and our family so just that we had a little bit more I asked people if they wanted to trade and so many people were like you don't have to trade with me just please let me send you some toys it was amazing because of you guys and my friends on the internet I am constantly reminded of how kind and generous and sweet people can be like people making fan art people constantly commenting sweet things and just being good because there's not enough good in the world and there's way too much hate and there's way too much evil and we can't just let it get to us all the time. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to the fanfare. I'm not used to nice people. Um, shout out to my childhood, but it makes me feel so much gratitude when people are like that. It, it just fills me with a lot of holiday cheer that I really needed because this month has been hard and that's the main thing that I want to discuss. I'm one of those people who don't take compliments very easily and not that I don't take them easily. I'm not going to tell you to like screw off if you tell me I'm pretty, but it's hard because you grow up a certain way and you see the world a certain way and people reciprocate a certain type of attitude towards you. And it just, like, you get used to that. And when there's something else, I don't have my light on today. You can't see anything. I'm not turning it on. This is a very confusing video to try to talk about because it's like mental health and dealing with struggles. So everything that happened around my birthday just kind of spiraled out of control. And it was so overwhelming that it was really hard to come back here and make content. It's, uh, it's, it's everything. The stress, I kind of accumulate everything into one like center issue and the stress of not having a car and not having work and not having and spending hundreds of dollars that we don't have when that needs to go into a car and now having a car that has issues and it being my birthday and it being Christmas, everything gets so overwhelming. So there are times against my better, like against my desires that I'm not as present as frequently as I'd like to be, or I'm not on here as much as I'd like to be. And that is something that I really struggle with because genuinely I want you guys to know how important this channel is to me. And I want to bring good vibes and positivity and just good things to this channel. So when things are so negative, it's really hard to get in front of the camera and then talk about something or be fake. I love being real with you. I have been taking care of myself. I have been playing so many video games. I've just been like in another world. Sometimes people go through personal things in their lives that is just too hard to sit in front of a screen and like want to put on a, I don't like putting on a mask. I don't like putting on a fake face. I'm not good at like this whole persona thing. Obviously I like to be fun and joyful here and I like to spread positivity, but sometimes you just don't have it in you. It's, it's not just because I got a new car that I'm back. It's like, I do have my studio back though. So I'm so excited for that. But the major, major thing that I wanted to say to you guys is that I am here. I do read the comments. I do try to remember to respond to every single comment. And I am not going anywhere. There will be times where I deal with things and I might be gone for a couple of days a week. And I know that's not great for the algorithm. Listen, I don't get paid to be here. And I don't mean that in an offensive way. It's just, I don't get paid to be here. Like, I do care about the algorithm because obviously I want people to be here. That's the whole point. We can't sit here and act like it's not. And I wanted to bring up a couple of ideas to you, anybody who's watching, anybody who cares, and see what you think. Because we, we we're able to get over a thousand subscribers. I haven't checked it before I started this video, but I think it's at about 1200. I have to get my watch time up, but I had also had a friend on here talk about how I can live stream now, which I've never done. Want to know your input. Would you be interested in live streams? Would you be interested in me talking to you guys, making crafts, doing makeup, things like that? Would that be something that you're into? Or are you like, mm, no, I kind of like the video form content better. I've never live streamed, so completely new to it. I don't know what I would be doing 
or what that would do for the channel if it does anything, but it's an option. So let me know. This one's a little bit different. Okay. How do I say this without it coming off, off like weird? I have always enjoyed old school YouTube content. If you can't tell, that's what I really try to bring to my videos, the editing styles and the filming style and the old school, like I still use my front facing camera because it's a little bit lower quality than the back facing and I kind of like that. What other old school like YouTuber things would you like to see? The other thing I thought of was, let me know your idea on a P.O. box. I personally love the idea and wanted to know what you guys thought because if I started a P.O. box either in the near future or the far future, I would love to unbox anything we got on this channel. I would love to make it a series. Speaking of series, I have a new emo series video coming out soon. That might be one of the videos that I'm working on. If I made a P.O. box in the future, would you like to send art? Would you like to send whatever the hell you want, as long as it's nice. I would unbox it. I would decorate my room with it. I love that old school YouTube. Third thing before I go, and this is a pretty major one that I've been thinking about since I started this channel, but I really want to make a Discord and I want to learn how to do that, but I am really bad at Discord and I don't understand it. But if you guys want to make a Discord server, let me know. Let me know how I should do it. How, like, do I need moderators? Like, is that a major thing? Can I censor it to be like safe and uh, like a safe, inclusive space where nobody's going to invade and be assholes? Like, I don't know how to do it. So if you want a Discord, please let me know because I've been thinking about it nonstop. But still, it's like, what other community ways can we have to make this like more cool and fun and safe and chill for everybody? Let me know. Oh, before I go, the most important thing, the biggest thing, I want you guys to understand how much this channel means to me, how much I do care about it, but just that sometimes real life really puts a damper on things and makes things difficult for me. I am a neurodivergent person and if you couldn't spot that from like 20 miles away, girl, what's wrong with you? You need to get checked. I adore this channel and I adore everything that you guys say. I adore being here. I adore posting the videos. This is not by any means, a, oh, I don't feel like posting today or I'm too insecure, but never Never ever do I look in the mirror and say, I want to give up. I don't want to do this anymore. None of that. I don't want you guys to ever think that. So I will be here making content. Moving forward, things are going to be a little bit more cohesive, a little bit more fluid, a little bit more scheduled, a little less chaotic. Um, I had a panic attack. Well, not a panic attack. I had an anxiety attack yesterday. I like to separate the two because for me personally, for me personally, an anxiety attack is something that I can pretty generally manage myself. I can manage an anxiety attack for the most part. It was a really bad one, but I handled it. Um, a panic attack, I need to be sitting at the bottom of a shower. Like I can't, I can't handle things when it comes to a panic attack. But this was an anxiety attack. It was pretty bad and it was pretty much what triggered me wanting to make this video. Uh, I just, I was at work and a couple situations happened that just ended up making, I wasn't in the middle of working. I was waiting at work to clock in. You guys know the whole story. But it was really, um, it was really intense to manage. It was just over life in general. And uh, after that, since that happened, I've been feeling a lot better. I've been feeling a lot more grounded and I've been feeling a lot more sane again. And I just want you to understand, don't ever feel, please don't ever feel like I've abandoned this channel or all that I've worked for here. You know, I am okay. Things are okay now. I have my new car and things will be better moving forward. There will be more content. There will be more fun. There will be more activities. I have so many ideas that I have had under my belt. So sometimes I do have to unfortunately deal with stupid real life and I will 
always say, like, I'm going to post a video later. I'm going to post a video later. I have a video to post later. And I know I have to work on that one. That one's on me. And sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I say I'll post a video and then I don't. Before I used to have more of a schedule and I would always fuck it up. I would always mess it up. So I had said, I'm not going to say that anymore. I'm not going to say tonight. I'm not going to say tomorrow at five. I'm not there yet. I'm trying to get there. And I promise you, I will continue to try to get there. But for now, I appreciate the patience. I appreciate the insane overwhelming kindness that I constantly receive from all of you. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I'm not running out. I just want to know your feedback. So let me know what you enjoy, what you want to see. Let me know what kind of things you would like to do here. I appreciate everybody still being here. I appreciate everybody subscribing. Let me know about the Discord. Let me know about the P.O. Box. Give me some feedback. Guys, I love reading your comments. I love seeing them. And I cannot wait to post this video to hear everything from you guys because socializing with you is one of my favorite things. So on that note, I love you as always very much. And I'm going to see you in the next few videos. So bye.